Hey guys, what is going on? Today we are doing a review of a new shoe that I've been using and that is the Reebok Floatzig 1. The Reebok Floatzig 1 is Reebok's take on the daily trainer shoe. I've used them for training runs at different places and would like to share with you how they felt and my thoughts. For transparency, this video is in collaboration with Reebok as they sent me these shoes to try and test out. But I was not in any way obligated to make a video review about them. They were just sent to me and they just said, try them out and tell us what you think about them. I chose to make this video review because I was, well, frankly, very surprised by this shoe in a positive way. For context, I get sent stuff all the time, which I don't review because either I have nothing positive to say about the product or it isn't really like life changing or simply I just don't find it good enough to review. Well, in this case, I'm taking the time to make this review because I think this product is interesting and worth it. Let me give you some tech specs and then talk about how they felt. The Reebok Float Zig 1 has a performance float ride energy foam midsole with the iconic Reebok Zig shape. The full length float ride energy foam midsole provides lightweight and responsive energy return with improved cushioning and a very good energy return in a lightweight package. The foam to me felt squishy in a good way and reactive. Even if it did not seem so as soon as I put them on, after running in them, I would define the midsole and the foam's response to running as lively and fun. The Float Zig 1 has a six millimeter drop with a 31 millimeter heel stack that delivers cushioning, but it still kind of keeps the shoe fast. Switching to the outsole, it has a full length carbon rubber outsole in a banded geometry that cuts down on excess weight and stiffness. The upper, which I find really, really cool, is an engineered mesh with reinforced midfoot panels, reflective overlays, and two layer textiles that provide extra support. And there are targeted foam panels at the tongue and the collar that provide additional comfort and support. This shoe's weight comes in at 289 grams for a US size 9.5. And talking about cash, these shoes retail at 130 euros. Let's talk about the fit. In my experience, these shoes fit exactly the same as all the other shoes I have. I run a US size 13 in all shoes, including the Floatzig one. The fit to me was snug and good in the collar. I had no problems with that. I always run heel lock lacing and I had no issues whatsoever with heel lift, etc. For run testing, I tested these shoes mostly on easy runs, on road and on really easy gravel. And overall, I liked the shoe. It felt light, bouncy and responsive. I tested them through a wide variety of running paces, going from super easy to a lot faster. And in my opinion, at the range of easy and tempo, these shoes feel good and responsive, like it was their, let's say, natural pace. The foam offers quite a stable ride, good bounce, and it works great, in my opinion, as a daily trainer for tempo and easy runs. When picking up the pace, I started to feel that the foam would react, giving a very lively and reactive start to the faster effort, but I started to feel like I would have liked an even more reactive shoe for speed work. So for paces that are faster than tempo, so like speed work, threshold work, I feel these shoes lack a little bit of that energy return that you get from like super trainers that really propel you forward and make running really fast feel, let's say, effortless like you're flying. But I must admit that it was a lot of fun to test these shoes at all paces and see how they would react. So let's come to the reason I am making this video. And the reason I'm making this video, well, actually there's two. First off, I realized how much fun a lower stack reactive shoe can be for daily running. Personally, I usually run in higher stack shoes with 40 millimeters in the heel. But switching to these was a welcome change and most of all, it was a lot of fun. Even with the low 31 millimeter stack, the cushioning felt quite enough to handle most daily runs, which honestly, I was not expecting when I took them out of the box. And this was a very pleasant surprise. And the other feeling that I got was that it doesn't dull the foot. So you still get quite a bit of ground feel, even having quite a good energy return. And the other reason I'm making this video is because I believe with this shoe, Reebok has made a solid product that can compete with other major players in the running space. I go no filters here. If you had asked me one year ago if I would be running and reviewing a Reebok shoe for running, I would have told you, hell no. What good running shoe does Reebok make? Well, now it's different. Uh, the Floatzig One is, in my opinion, a solid effort to enter the running space. It's a fun shoe. It looks sick. It's fairly light and responsive at a competitive price point of 130 euros. This shoe honestly gets me excited for what next releases Reebok is gonna bring out in the future. I know that they have a trail shoe in the works, which is gonna be sick in my opinion, and a carbon plated racer as well. I have no details on these, but to be honest, when they come out, I really want to try them. And now let's talk about in my dreams, what I wish Reebok would make. 
I wish Reebok would make this exact shoe, but with a 40 millimeter stack in the heel. That to me would be the perfect road model that would rival the Nike Invincible, my favorite road shoe for daily training right now, as it would be a high stack max cushion shoe with this LiveVN reactive foam. And building on that dream would be the same shoe, so a 40 millimeter stack with the same foam, the same structure, but for trail. So with a more rugged sole and a lot of cushioning. But these are dreams. So we'll see in the future what Reebok comes out with and hopefully it will be solid products like this. They will build upon this to make some new really good running shoes. So all in all, the Floatzig one is a solid daily trainer shoe which can handle most training runs. They deliver a cushioned and responsive ride which personally I like and as I said before, I was not expecting. I still have to see how many kilometers I can get out of them but from what I can see, now they seem to be holding up well. And also, as I said before, they look really cool in my opinion. How will I be using this shoe in my training? I will use this shoe for easy runs up to 10K with maybe some tempo blocks in them as at those paces, this shoe really feels great. And also another occasion which I might use this is like social runs or whenever I'm, I go out with other people and run easy basically. So yeah, anything up to 10 kilometer runs, I will do in these, but I would opt for a more cushioned shoe for longer distances. I love the ground feel on the Fertzig one, but for me, the cushioning is just not enough for anything longer than 10 kilometers, especially due to the high amount of running volume per week that I do. So guys, what do you think about the shoe? I think it looks sick and it was really a lot of fun and I'm really, really pleasantly surprised by the effort that Reebok has made to enter the running space. I really dig these shoes and I just hope that the next models are even better than this one and I'm really excited for the future. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Happy training.